Alright, well this is actually a uh, quick video about the multi-monitor setup with Linux Mint. I had a commenter uh, um, on my comments to say, hey, do uh, how does Linux Mint work with multiple monitors? And well, you're looking at it right here. So I'm running on my, my desktop that I did that series on, I'm running a 1080 Ti and I've got four monitors hooked up and two of them are HDMI and then I had to get uh, a disc display port to HDMI adapter because that uh, configuration with the old uh, 1080 Ti has two display and two HDMI ports but um, yeah as you can see right here we've got Linux Mint spread across four screens and then we've got this uh, display um, management right here and what's really cool is you, it's color coded so you can't mess it up <laughs> and uh, so red is number one which is up here and then two is yellow which is well, I can't get it to focus over there three is green which is over there and four is blue which is right there so you know like the Windows thing you can come in here and uh, fiddle around with it and this is the first time I've uh, fiddled around with this and uh, you know we can probably let me take this uh, camera out of the stand like so you can see here the, over here on this one here the mouse is over here so basically you got to set up and configure and then uh, where is it it's now over here so the mouse is wiggling over that one so you got to basically configure these back into uh, order from left to right. So let's see if I can figure this out. And let's see if we can drag and drop. One is on the left. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, camera on the stand. I'm going to go ahead and try and get this to zoom in. Uh, Get it to click into place. Let's do one, two, three. Hey, where did where did four disappear to? Come back. Hey, there you are. And then and all right. So huh. so one is set. Number one is set as primary. I'm surprised why it doesn't. Yeah, okay, so of course my monitors aren't in alignment, so uh, as you can see here, the red one is a primary one, which I'm trying to get this to, I don't know why it's not selecting to uh, making that one the default, because like, you know, you, you would assume that you make changes and it would say apply, so... Huh. I'm going to do it this way. Green. Let's see. Green. Blue. Mm, yeah. And then I want to make the blue one as the display. Okay. Now we've got the apply. Let's see what happens. All well, my screens are down and we're back. And let's see, we've got green, blue, red, yellow. We've got green, we've got blue, we've got red, and we've got yellow. I'm putting this back on the, the, uh, okay. So, hmm. Yeah. So I, to get this thing properly set up, I'd probably need to switch it over, but let's go ahead and put green over here. Blue, I'm being silly. Hit apply. There we go. There we go. Ah, this thing. Apply. I'm trying to get it go from left to right. So... 
What are you doing? What are you doing, Linux? Well, I was in the middle of filming and my memory card uh, went went bad. So, yeah. So we've got it working now. And as you can see here, let me get up to that. You've got all the monitors. Green, blue, red, yellow. you got green, blue, red, and yellow there. And let me go ahead and hold this. And you can see over there on the green screen, I've got my mouse wiggling. And then over here, on this red blue screen, I got it wiggling. And then over here, it's squiggling on the red. And then yellow is over here. So let's go ahead and you know, I'm going to try and navigate with uh, with stuff here, and we'll pull up some programs and see how they how they populate. And so we got Caden Live, and it's you know it's going to all different screens. And if you're curious as to what I'm running on uh, my monitors, I have a MSI Pro MP243X series. They were cheap on on sale at Micro Center, and I had a multi monitor set up. Um, and uh, I didn't need it anymore, so, but I digress. But sliding Caden Live back over there, then over there is my servers. This is actually my workstation, my work area. So let's do that. And then, I don't know, let's pull up, uh, I don't know, let's pull up um, ungoogled Chrome. And we'll move this here so you can multitask. And then for fun, let's pull up the LMMS software. It starts over there. And then we'll drag it over here to this one. So, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's working. So for those of you who are curious as to whether or not uh, Linux Mint will run a multi-monitor setup, here is bona fide proof that you can run Linux Mint and a multi monitor, multi monitor setup, and you know I'm I'm still running my OG 1080 Ti that I bought many years ago, and I'm not planning to upgrade anytime soon because it suits my needs. And you can see right there, you know I've got the four the uh, four uh, uh, outputs going out there, and so yeah. Then while I'm at it, here's here's where I here's my workstation. Pretty much I've got my work laptop where I do my um, development work, a lot of my development work and uh, CAD stuff and um, other things and here's my dual boot uh, Mint and Windows 7. I play old school games. I play like uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon and Oblivion and uh, what else do I play? Uh, Sim City 4? So I, I play the old games and then so and then over here is my uh, server stuff that I'm working on and I mean, I pretty much, this is all I do, is I eat, live, and sleep tech, and uh, servers, and computers, and programming, so. But anyhow, I hope this uh, suits the curiosity of the internets out there, and let me go ahead and put this thing back on the tripod really quick. And we're going to this thing out of the way. So you could pretty much do like a multi-monitor setup and get one of those fancy four panel systems and stack them. I have a stacking system, but I, I just don't have it assembled right now. And when we hit X, all the little things, all the little tabs at the top left of the screen that we saw before go away. And if you want to find that, it's really easy. And like I said in my other video, you come in here and you just type in D-I-S-P-L display right there. And that, right, right there, right? Type in the search bar in your search menu. I'm sorry that wasn't zoomed in, but D I S P L. Yeah, right there. And again, you don't get ads blasted at you, and you don't get this, that, and the other thing, and boom, right there. Display. Simple. So, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy. Switch to Linux. Do it today. Be part of the movement. Bye bye.